welcome to Taste of Change. I'm Dr. Irina Kovs, and I'm very inspired today by Mexican food, guacamole. We'll make guacamole. I definitely we'll use avocado, onion, tomato, lime, pepper, and uh, we'll also add, I want to add to this fried cheese. Okay, so the fry, it will be very, very nice. Uh, you see, when you travel, you like to try local food and you don't have a choice and you definitely look for some healthier versions, but uh, if you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. So as soon as I came back, I created healthier version of, uh, uh, first of all, uh, chips, because uh, uh, there, it is, as you know, mostly corn, uh, or corn chips, which are, which are very high glycemic, and we absolutely don't want to ruin such delicious and healthy food as guacamole with uh, corn chips. So, uh, I advise you to use Ezekiel tortillas. We'll make chips now. Why? Because Ezekiel bread is sprouted bread. It's made out of these green things which are growing out of the um, grain. And the glycemic index of these 35, which is actually like top of the low. Uh, let's make them cute and triangle so they match our pur purpose. You can find them in actually almost every supermarket now. Now, you can use uh, whole wheat bread also, but it will not be so slimming as this one. So, if you have a goal of uh, losing weight, please found uh, found uh, sprouted bread and sprouted tortillas. Something like this, you cut them. I have oven preheated to 300, and uh, uh, what I do, I spread them over the baking sheet with the, with the baking paper. Yes, I always use it to avoid these sticking things. So they'll be cute. We don't want to bake them for a long time, of course. So they will stay there for maybe five minutes. I'll check during the process. I'll check how they're doing. Sprouted bread tortillas. To make good guacamole, the most important part is definitely avocado. And here it can be tricky to choose good avocado and uh, to use it at some condition where it is uh, like mushy a little bit, but not too much. So I brought many, so if one is not good, <laughs> we have some extra here. So let's see. I hope they are good for guacamole. Wow. Oh, is that perfect? I like it. I like it. Oh, beautiful, so beautiful. Maybe they can be a little bit softer, but I think it's perfect. Yeah, you see, it's, I think it's perfect. It's not brownish, very, very, very good. So what we need to do is just extract the seed and clean it and uh, move it into special device. Special device is this. You see, there is a common misconception about avocado. People say, oh, it is very fatty, which is true. Avocado is fatty. The uh, good news that uh, fats in avocado are non-saturated, they are very healthy fats. So you don't need to be afraid to eat them, vice versa. 
please eat avocado more. And it can be combined with meat or fish or whatever you want, salads and everything. Consuming not saturated fats helps you to reduce bad cholesterol, we'll use simple language, and to increase good cholesterol. Also, the fiber in avocado contributes to weight loss. So everything about this vegetable is absolutely beneficial. So we have two big avocados in this form and let's mash them. Which is very nice, they're getting mashed very easily. Uh, here, it also depends how you like it, because sometimes guacamole is very smooth, but sometimes you can uh, see the bigger, 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 slime, bigger pieces. So it is all depends on you how 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 you you prefer. I actually don't like it completely like mashed potatoes, but uh, a little bit pieces. But you know they are actually so good that I think we'll have a wonderful meal soon. Though if Mexican people watch me, they will laugh probably because, you know, you need to be original for making original <laughs> meals. <laughs> this is true. Robert, I transfer this uh, beautiful thing into the big salad bowl and continue cutting other ingredients. Yeah, I like some bigger slices, but perfect. Next, we need to cut tomatoes. For two big avocados, I use two middle-sized tomatoes. I think it's good. If it is too much, we'll see right on the way. The vegetables uh, and all ingredients are cut very uh, small. The slices should be very small. This is the point of this amazing meal. Two medium-sized tomatoes are ready and going to the bowl with avocado. The next ingredient is onion. I prefer using red onion and uh, well this is definitely huge so let's use maybe it's maybe it's too much. Also tiny tiny pieces. Not sure I can achieve it but <laughs> I'll do my best <laughs> to make tiny pieces. I think it's enough. Onion is going to the salad. As ingredients we have to add, it is the thing which I'm afraid even. So I'll use just a little bit, just half, half and uh, not more. Uh, remove the seeds. I was told remove the seeds and definitely we want it to be chopped so we avoid getting big slice of big piece of uh, jalapeno pepper. What I do, what I usually like to do with um, spices, I put them in this device, amazing device, and chop into very, very small uh, pieces. We need also garlic. You know, every place is making their own uh, guacamole and it is everywhere, it's extremely delicious. But one place uh, was too delicious. So I asked and uh, they shared that they had garlic. I 
actually always I, I was thinking that garlic is not for guacamole so I I decide to add a little bit of garlic but you see just 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 tiny piece another thing I I do a traditional guacamole is always with uh, cilantro I personally kind of not <laughs> not cilantro person so I'll substitute it with uh, parsley with parsley they're very close so it is just a matter of taste okay i hope i didn't forget anything this is we don't need stems what we else have this is it so crush these guys So easy and so fun. Now it's impossible to understand what is those tiny pieces. They all go to salad bowl. And we are done with this. Let's see. Oh, it smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, we definitely need salt and pepper if you prefer. I like black pepper. The last ingredient will be fresh lime juice. Fresh lime juice. I found this thing most useful and easy to extract juice. So, do not substitute it for a ready juice. It is absolutely not, not the same. Not the same at all. I would stop here because for this amount, we actually don't have this big portion and the lime is pretty big. So it will be more than enough half. The juice of uh, out of half fresh lime. This part of the meal is ready. Let's check on our chips. Chips are ready. They were there about 10 minutes and they're very crispy, dry. Looks very, very nice. They look nice. Uh, one restaurant I've learned they served guacamole in kind of unusual way and I loved it. So I'll try to serve it the same way. Definitely, I'm not sure that it goes to be the same, but let's see. I'll use the big ice cream, this scoop. Oh. Not bad. Hmm? We'll make three. Ta -da! Not bad at all. <laughs> it was very unusual because usually it is served in the bowl. And uh, so we'll put the rest into the bowl definitely. We have a lot. Actually, it was only two avocado to tomatoes and small stuff but look it's very actually decent amount chips oh, it is so good for lunch especially summer is coming probably soon well what we have it's cheese for frying this process takes literally minutes so i am doing it at the very last minute um cheese frying cheese it's actually not a big deal at all the only thing is temperature in temperature to catch the right temperature is pretty tricky i've known that it should be medium high or something <laughs> like this just spray a little bit of this 
and let's do or slice it like this. If the temperature is too high, the cheese starts to melt and you are getting kind of cheese pancake. It is too high. I lower it to six. Ideally, it should become brownish. It is very good to make it on uh, the steak skillet. I am afraid I fail on this. <laughs> Yet at home I know this temperature, this uh, so it goes differently. Okay, guys, what I was afraid I got, so <laughs> it is melting, <laughs> and uh, it is still delicious. So we got this. To avoid confusion, I'll place them on the, on the tortilla chip, so it will be more logical to have it there than <laughs> on the plate. It's actually a good idea too. It's actually very nice. Yeah, this is a French cheese. This is so cool. You can find them in uh, uh, supermarkets with international food where a Mexican cheese. You are witnesses the discovery of new meal. New meal. Okay, I'll stop here. Well, this is so far what we've got. Guacamole with uh, Ezekiel bread, sprouted tortillas, chips, and melting fried cheese. So the combination is wonderful and uh, try it and uh, make it your meal it can be very light dinner or lunch and definitely it's wonderful for friends gathering and uh, every everyone will be happy not to mention the health benefits of avocado you'll find the recipe at weighttestini.com health benefits of avocado also there and uh, have a wonderful time enjoy the meal and find more videos and more recipes at weightdestiny.com and actontv.org bye bye